To care for our patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, we have a multidisciplinary team consisting of specialist doctors, nursing case managers, smoking cessation professionals, dietitian, and physiotherapists. Our care team educates and looks after our COPD patients and families. As case managers, we educate and counsel our patients and families on managing COPD. Most importantly, we walk the journey together with our patients so that they are able to live well with COPD. Mainly, there are two categories, the relievers and preventers. The preventers are to be used daily, while the relievers are only to be used when necessary for shortness of breath. We help our patients to deal with their symptoms as well as empower them to manage their condition. We teach and assess patients on inhaler techniques, make sure that they are competent and compliant with the inhaler regime. If the patients are using their relievers daily, this would suggest that their lung disease is not well controlled. Hence, it is important for us to follow up these patients from time to time. COPD patients typically expend more energy on breathing compared to normal people. As such, they have a higher metabolic rate. Breathlessness can also lead to poor appetite. Malnutrition is found in up to 35% of people with COPD. Therefore, it is important to include high-calorie, high-protein foods in the diet. Examples of high-protein foods include eggs, meat, fish, poultry, um, we have nuts and beans, and dairy products like milk, yogurt, cheese, Lastly, we have tofu and soy related products. Those with malnutrition may need to be prescribed with specialized oral nutritional supplements to support their nutrition intake. So as physiotherapists, we help our patients manage their breathlessness and also clear their phlegm. So this includes breathing exercises and body positioning to relieve their breathlessness. And we also teach them techniques to cough better so that their phlegm are able to come out more easily. So besides that, we also teach them exercises that are tailored to their needs and goals where we aim to improve their exercise tolerance and also their muscle strength. So such as walking on a treadmill, using the leg cycle and lifting weights. So we also educate and teach them pacing strategies where we ensure that their daily activities are spread throughout the day to make things more manageable for them. So with the appropriate strategies in place, patients are able to live well with COPD. Patients with COPD. Normally I speak to patients who want to quit smoking. We do a questionnaire for patients. So that test will measure how intense their physical dependency on nicotine. Because the nicotine in tobacco is addictive, so many, many patients find it's difficult to overcome the cravings and uh, manage their withdrawal symptoms when they're trying to quit smoking. If a patient shows nicotine dependence, unexplained loss of appetite and persistent loss of weight for more than a month, difficulties managing their daily activities and managing of symptoms such as their breathlessness and clearing of phlegm, we encourage them to consider enlisting professional smoking cessation help. Just seeking professional help from a physiotherapist to see a dietitian for more personalized dietary advice. Our multidisciplinary team will walk the journey with our patients so that each and every one of them can live well with COPD. Everybody, everywhere. Live well with COPD.